ship's doctor says at first glance, everything in Lee Oban's body appears human. Internal organs, lymphatic system, the works. Right, well, the uh, tissue sample yielded unique chemical compounds during the cremation that reveal the nature of the sample to be synthetic. So he was a Cylon? Yes, he was. And now we have a problem. A big one. If the Cylons look like us, then any one of us can be a Cylon. It's a very frightening possibility. We need a way to screen human from Cylon, and that's where you come in. Me? Um... Rumor has it you're a genius. Right, well, I'll, uh... I'll certainly give it my all. Commander. Keep this to yourself for now. You don't want to start panic or people to begin accusing their neighbors of being Cyloned because they don't brush their teeth in the morning. I'll be very discreet. Halt! No sudden moves! Whoa, 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 wait a minute, guys. Get down on your knees and cross your ankles, now! Wait, just, 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 wait, wait a minute. What? What, what do you want? Hands behind your head. If he's really a Cylon, why hasn't the storm radiation made him sick by now? Well, I can only theorize that it takes a while for the storm's effects to become readily apparent on Cylon physiology. Uh, by the time he'd encountered Lieben, he'd been here for several months. I don't months. suppose it matters to you that I am not a Cylon? The smartest thing you could do right now would be to shut your mouth. Are you sure? One can never be 100% sure. But, but the evidence, uh, the evidence seems conclusive. Basically, basically all I did was I expanded on, on your doctor's analysis of Leoben's corpse. I then went around the CIC discreetly, taking random hair samples of people who've been working there, subjected that to a special form of spectral analysis that I've been experimenting on for quite some time now. I then wrote a clinical computer subroutine to screen that for synthetic chemical combinations. Um, his ones, his samples, were the only samples to register as synthetic, as you feel. I'll take your word for it. Right. And just like that, Dr. Baltar invents the amazing Cylon Detector. Look, gentlemen, I understand your concerns here. This is a very difficult situation, but I think you need to take a step back, take a deep breath, and really look at what you're doing here. I want everyone aboard this ship screened. No exceptions. No problem. Whoa, whoa. Look, I, 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 I don't know about anybody else, but I can tell you that I'm, I'm human. I'm from Oasis, you know? It's a hamlet, a couple stops out, out of Caprica City. I, I grew up in the South Side. I went to the Cobalt Colleges on, on, on Gemini, and I, I studied public relations! Oh, uh, oh. By the way, I, I don't know if this is important. It might be important, it might not be important, but earlier when I was on the ECISA, I noticed that Mr. Dorrell seemed to be doing, um... Well, I'm not exactly sure what it was that he was doing, but he seemed very interested in this odd-looking device on the bottom, bottom of the uh, Dreyfus console. What do you... What? Yeah. We should really make a copy of your brain pattern at some point. What device? What are you talking about? He's lying. He is fracking lying! Combat, this is Ty. Isolate the Dreyfus console. Don't and listen to him! No one comes near it until I get up there. No, it's a cobalt. This isn't... This isn't happening to me. Colonel, your orders, sir. If he moves, kill him. You mixed the samples up! I'm human! It's not hot, sir. Very well. Remove it. Uh, I don't see anything in the maintenance records, sir, but I'm pretty sure I first noticed it about a week ago. And you didn't say anything. Didn't investigate a new piece of equipment that just appeared in CIC? No, sir. I just assumed that it was part of the museum. Sorry, sir. There's no excuse. You're not alone, Lieutenant. Any one of us should have seen the perfectly obvious staring us in the face, especially the ship's XO. What should I do with it, sir? Take it to Dr. Balter. I've given him clearance. He's become our resident Cylon expert. Have him take it to the lab, figure out whether it's a bug or whatever the hell it is. In the meantime, I want every inch of this ship searched for any other equipment that just appeared in the last week.